Absolutely. So initially I got involved with RAN many years ago, helping to select a team to go. Uh, it, it was a project that didn't get off the ground, basically. It was with Land Rover. Mm. And the idea they were going to drive a Land Rover from London to New York. Mm. So it was going to be purely Land Rover powered. So they had big inflatable tyres and tubes to go across the channel. Mm. And they'd got big tyres with chains on to go across the bearing gap. And so it was a drive, as I said. Um, so I helped to initially select the team with RAN. Mm -hmm. um, it, the project didn't get off the ground, but I was involved in that. And then I got involved in um, the world's coldest journey expedition. Initially, uh, because of my Arctic experience with the Marines, I'm Arctic survival trained, um, I tested kit in a cold chamber in minus 52 mm -hmm. uh, for the expedition. Uh, from that, I had a, a conversation with Ran, and he thought it would be a really good idea if I got involved in the additional training that we would be doing out in Sweden. Uh, so he asked me to go and help select his team. Mm. Uh, in addition with that, um, BBC were making a documentary, uh, and there were some um, uh, specific times and days where they couldn't do any filming, and I was asked if I could also, in addition to helping the team do some filming for the documentary as well. So I was trained up on doing the filming, but primarily I went out there to help select the team. We were working in arduous conditions, in minus 40, and uh, that's, uh, I was able to help uh, Ran help select his team for that particular oh, wow. journey. That must have been a fantastic experience, because he's such a renowned figure. Do you yeah. feel like you learned a lot from it? Uh, yeah, I mean, Ran is uh, he's a great guy. Mm. Um, my, I got on really well with him because of my expedition experience and my military uh, background mm. um, and I got on really well with him. I saw that um, he in, doesn't really come alive really until conditions get extreme and right. then he's just sort of is like he's taking some pills right. or something yeah. like that and then he, 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 he comes into his own. Yeah. Uh, he's got a great sense of humour which you very rarely see in the, in, in the public eye. Uh, and he's a, yeah, he's a really good guy and I, I really sort of take my hat off to him. Yeah.